let's talk a little bit more about um, about how do you bring people into you know get young people excited about going into public office because um, you know because it does take so much money and it, because it is so much daunting it is so daunting and because there is so much scrutiny and so many trolls on the <laughs> on the internet um, you know how do you encourage people who are, to, to take on all of those challenges? Well, I think, first of all, um, that it's a question of starting young. Mm -hmm. And it's a question of starting young for a, a number of reasons. The people who are the most successful politicians at the end of the day are people who have that so-called fire in the belly. And, you know, that, that kind of interest in politics and policy and public service um, need to be identified early on so that people can... Um, begin to get the experience they need to be effective uh, public leaders. And I think um, the, the biggest worry we have right now is that younger people think it's a, an unattractive thing to go into public life. Uh, so we could really begin to change our longer range picture in this country by thinking about how to create excitement and uh, prestige around the idea of, of going into public life. Um, this might be part of a really long-term plan because, you know, it takes a long time to get people uh, with experience and it takes a long time for them to meet people who can help them along the way. Um, but better to start now than not to start at all. Perfect. Thank you very much. That's one okay. question. Sure. You asked for local people to identify and specifically in the Naples uh -huh. community. Why? Well, I, I just, I, I like to know more about what's going on outside of Washington, D.C. And there's some great examples of, of leaders who have stepped right up to the plate. They haven't, uh, uh, they are um, bringing people together. They are, they are thinking long term. They're trying to create an environment that uh, makes it possible for a community to get behind an idea and to move forward. And I'm interested in those people because, you know, they, they are um, great exemplars of the kind of country we want to live in. Uh, I'd like to see the paradigm change about who we think of as heroes. Um, I'm not a big fan of sports heroes. And um, so I think the time to start is now. And uh, one thing, one way maybe to inspire um, younger people to go into public life is to show them uh, that there are many people that are part of this generation who have already done remarkable things. We know about, you know, the so-called greatest generation, but maybe we don't know as much about, um, uh, maybe young people don't know as much about their parents' generations and people who have done extraordinary things in that context.